Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna mine today then. Bat pack. That's right. That was fun. What was fun? What's up? Okay, it's fine. What's up, Pablo? Screenshot. Thank you. <clears throat> I just cleared 500 GB from my hard drive. Oh my god. That's always so satisfying after you're done, isn't it? So satisfying. Like, I don't know about you guys, but seeing... Like, this number go from, like, red to, like here or something is like oh yeah dude Fuck yeah. <laughs> so good <laughs> not bleeding yeah pretty much all my hard drives are always bleeding so yeah the song's spoopy this is one of the Junimo new Junimo cart songs a up why we're it's late NAS setup no it's not 30 terabytes no NAS setup would be dope but it's not really necessary for me oops trash so many old games I bet I bet you did let's skip over this song like, just loops there. Nothing here? Dang it. I think I have to wait till 9 to get this cutscene, right? Like, 8? I don't think we'll do it. I think it's 9. Oh, no, you can get it at 8. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I never remember that stuff. Steam's still eating 300 GB. Woo! You have 300 gigabytes of games that you need to have installed on Steam right now? Are you serious right now? <laughs> what? What an eyesore. That looks pretty good to me. I don't know. It's <clears throat> left a bit. Pride and joy. Bustling with activity. It really isn't bustling with activity once you fix it up too. That's the thing. <clears throat> These days, young folk rather sit in front of their TV than engage with the community. I sound like an old fool. Been hounding me to sell them the lands. Could turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town used to, uh, could use some money. There's something stopping me from selling it. Guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Let's go inside. You were the man, let it go to shit. Yeah, it's his fault. Why don't you just fix it up? Jeez. <clears throat> What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? To the solid state? Alright, good luck, Habu. It's awesome. It's like this place is full of rats. <clears throat> You're worrying me, Uba. Uba! Clear out your hard drives, Uba. Look, I think I'm going to head home. Need get, um, get some lunch. Ooh, lunch. Lunch sounds good. Keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. <laughs> He's like, fuck them because I'm not doing it. I know, right? <clears throat> I 
Or what happened to the fish tank? What happened to all the old fish? Okay, to Gunther's. I like that song. The uh, this is the grandpa theme, yeah. A lot of daffodils here. <clears throat> trash can. Shoot. Okay, check the trash cans first. Trash can. Joja trash can. In this corner over here. Oh, a red mushroom. Well, looky there. That's for a bundle. Actually, two red mushrooms could be used in bundles. Overfish the tank to extinction. Ha. We already got this one, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, now we go open some geodes. Oh, I still want to have enough for my bat pack, so I'll have to sell some stuff. That's fine, though. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know if we're... Okay, this is gonna be annoying. I should just go get the backpack. <laughs> what am I doing? Repeat this as many times as there are townspeople. Yeah. Oh, what do we got here? Parsnip. We got parsnip. Be good to start building relations, so might as well. Trash can. Oof, Penny was just out of range. And just out of range again. Give me that. Okay. Now we finish off these geodes. Is it tax collecting time already? Oh, a lot of coal. Mm -hmm. What if your grandpa was you from the past life that decided to leave town and go to the city without you to run around, do stuff? The town fell apart for many years, rinse and repeat. Yeah, it's not like any of these townspeople actually became competent people while you were fixing up the town. You friggin' Lewis is worthless. Trash can upgrades. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? Um <clears throat> So the trash can upgrades upgrades this trash can right here which gives you money when you sell stuff to it so at the highest the highest trash can the iridium one will give you like 60 percent so it's nice if you want to trash like stuff and get a little bit back from it and instantaneous money is pretty cool too so yeah it's pretty pretty dope um, yeah, we can do some fishing. We got room. We gotta plant those clay flowers as well. It's bad luck, so I'm not gonna do the mining mining today. No point with that. Oopsie. That was bad. Dun, 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 dun.
Yo, I'm pretty hungry right now. Any idea what 1.4 is planned for consoles? Concerned Ape said within like a month or two ish is what he would he would like to do, but <clears throat> the thing is with consoles, you can have so many. You have to pass, um, like your updates have to like pass certain like qualifications or something, and so like it could just fail qualifications, and then you have to go back to the drawing board and like fix more stuff. And I don't know. It it can be unpredictable so it could be a month but in all honesty it could be six months so i would probably just cut the difference and say it'll probably be out in a few months but it could be longer Do you get more XP from training pull and perfect catches or regular catches with quality fish? Well, quality fish do give you more XP. But perfect catch gives you like more than double XP, so it's more significant. Um I don't actually personally have the confirmation that perfect catches on training rod actually do give you the perfect catch XP, but I assume they do, and someone can tell me that they do. I think I think they do, but I don't. I just don't have like confirmation of that until someone's like they do. Okay, they do. Yeah. So, yeah, training rod will give you more XP, but obviously getting perfect catches with quality fish will give you even more XP. And you can only catch common fish with the training rod, so. Yeah, and the, the higher difficulty fish, the more XP you get. Only best to use it till level 2. Yeah, that makes sense. Oopsie. Have you played modded? I've played modded, I've also made mods for this game. I made a hard mode mod for this game, and then I made a randomizer mod. Cool. Yeah. It's mermaid song. <laughs> Mod stands game. Mods are cool. <clears throat> Harbo mob, what's that? I haven't heard about that one. Um, it was a long time ago. The game's changed significantly since then. Um, but I basically just, um, made crop prices. Uh. <laughs> back when we thought crops were the best way to make money. <laughs> made crop prices, uh. Give you less money per, and then, like, I, um made buildings more expensive, like upgrades more expensive and stuff, and then made crafting recipes harder, and then made the bundles a lot more difficult. They are now. Yeah, it's incredibly out of date. I made the hard mode mod, like, my first version of the hard mode mod came out, like, months after release, and then after that, I think it was, like, a year after release, and then randomizer mod came out a year ago. But that's outdated too, because that's pre 1.4, it's 1.3, so. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Any ideas from 1.4 mod? 
I currently don't have enough time to put into making a mod. And if I did, I would honestly just update my randomizer mod because it is a very good mod. It just has bugs and also is not up to date for 1.4. Um, but it's a really good mod, like, in its premise, which is that it randomizes everything. So every playthrough is really different. It's, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, if I was gonna do more mod work, I would first... Fix all the bugs, update to 1.4, and then I would just start adding more content to it. Other than that, other mod ideas would be probably too ambitious to do by myself. Like, I'd want to add, like, new areas to the game. Which I've done, like... So, for the randomizer mod, one of the things that I did was I made new um, mining levels... And then randomize them in, so... Because right now, the mining levels are set. At least in the normal mines. There's 40 levels. And then it... It, it repeats through the 40 levels... Um... Three times. Level 1 to 40, and then 40 to 80, and 80 to 120. <clears throat> so... I added another 40 levels. So half the levels were new levels that I created. And I, I made them by hand in a tiled map editor. What's the best make way to make money? Farming is the best way to make money. Once now that 1.4.2, the, the balance update for Skull Caverns is out. Pixel by pixel? Hell no. You work with a tile sheet. And you can get away with some pretty solid, like, pretty big copy-pasting action, too. But yeah, maybe I'll have some time. I mean, I'm pretty deep into Stardew right now, so... Maybe I'll put some time aside to do some mod work stuff. Because I would do some of it on stream. Because it was, it was interesting to an extent for most people to see how that process works. Um, but, yeah, I'm just so busy, because I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to do this challenge now, which is, like, many hundreds of hours challenge, and we're just getting started today's day one, so. And then, um, I'm also, like, doing lots of stuff outside of stream, too. Did you teach yourself to code? I did a little bit in high school, and then I, it was also a coding class I took in high school, and then I went to college for computer science. So, I didn't... I taught myself some basics through, like, YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. So I had a, a good understanding when I went to college. It's so like, but honestly, it really only helped me for, like, the first two semesters. Like, freshman year of college, I was, like, easy mode, just, like, flying through. Actually, not even... Actually, that's not true. The second semester, there was a weed-out class that was actually really hard for computer science. So, honestly, it was just the first semester that was, like, super easy for me. And even if... It was... Well, it was, it was because it was made... Like, it was designed so that you technically wouldn't need any programming experience before you went to college if you wanted that degree. It was... That was... So, it was doable for people that had never even coded before. But for me, I coded a bit, so I was like, easy mode! But second semester was... It was a slaughter. It was like 200 people in the class at the start of the semester, and about 50 people took the uh, final exam. The rest had already dropped out or just didn't show up to the final exam. And then of those 50, about half of them passed. Was class Peter Science Two is what it was called at my university. Yeah, 
And I talked to some people who had graduated. Because they, like, it was cool. Like, uh, early on when we just started as freshmen, like, they brought, they, like, had people that had, um, finished the degrees, like, tell you about the degree and stuff. And they're saying that from, like, three different people told me that the hardest class is computer science too. Like, watch out. Like, be prepared. It's the hardest class I had to take. You fucking dumb. Did you go on to get your degree? So, interesting story. Um, so I, that's around the time I started streaming. Um, was during that. So, My first stream was around the time that I started Computer Science 2, but I was so busy with Computer Science 2, I barely did any streams. So I did a few streams. And then I finished Computer Science 2, and I got a C- in the class, which is passing. Woo! So I was happy with that. <clears throat> so anyway, um, the only catch, or the problem, was that they said that you have to get a B minus or higher average for all of your classes. And you're like, you know what? That's respectable. I understand that and I can do that. I mean, my first first semester in computer science one, I had NA. So I was like, it already balances out with the C minus. So I'm like already doing okay. It just, I got to try to get like B minuses or higher. And sure enough, I did all the rest of my computer science classes I took in sophomore year and my first half of junior year were uh, B minuses or higher. And uh, during that time, I was doing the daily. So after the freshman year is when I started the daily and I did the daily. I've been doing the daily ever since, right? It's been over six and a half years now since I started. Anyway, fast forward to like a year and a half into daily streaming. I finished my first half of my junior year. I signed up for my classes. And I had to sign up for a computer science class. I got the name of it. But <clears throat> it is a class that you have to complete as a prerequisite to do all of the senior level computer science classes. So I think there's like five... There's like 10 different classes you can take, but you have to take like five senior level computer science classes to get your degree. And this class I had to take was the prerequisite for all of them. So it was really important that I did. I'm going to go home so I don't pass out. Now, I signed up for the class. And then a month later, class starts like in a week. I get a call from my... Uh, like counselor or advisement office or whatever and they're telling they say that hey you signed up for this class but you can't take it because you don't meet previous prerequisites of a B minus or higher in all your classes and I was like well what do you mean like I thought that you just had an average of B minus for all your classes or like yes that is true I was like, okay, so like, what's the problem? She's like, well, we changed the prerequisite for this class. And so that one C minus you have isn't good enough. So you have to retake it. And I was like, okay, but you can't change the curriculum from freshman year. It's freshman year. That was not part of it, right? And so then they were like, that's true. And they said, with that C minus, you can graduate. They're like, we can, you can graduate with that C minus because that is part of your curriculum is said, you just need to get passing grade and then a B minus overall average in all of your CS classes. But we can change the prerequisites for classes and we changed the prerequisite, and so this teacher is told us that they're not going to teach you unless you have a B-minus in CS2, so you have to retake it. 
I was like, all right, okay, I'll just retake CS2, even though that class sucks ass. And they're like, well, class is starting a week and it's already over books, so you're gonna have to wait till next semester to take it. And I was like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm a junior, and I, I had just finished all of my generals. So generals is like, oh, you have to take two art classes and you have to take a college writing, you have to take uh, college speaking, which I did, all that shit. You know, you have to take this many of this, and you have to take these math classes. I was done with my math, my arts, my, like, psychology shit, or, like, literally everything. I was done with all my generals. So the only things I had to do was I had to take electives, and I had to, um, do those senior level computer science classes. But I couldn't do them until I did this class, and they wouldn't let me take the class because I had to take CS2 again. And they wouldn't let me do CS2 because it was full until the next semester, and they didn't tell me all this until a week before classes started. And so I was like, all right, so what are my options? She's like, well, like, you can just do your electives. She's like, I was like, all right. I was like, what about, like, what what can I do? Like, what are just like, well, there's like bullying. And like, she like set me up with these classes. Like, you can do like bowling and like art classes and this stuff. I'm like, I am not about to pay money to do all this bullshit. Like, I was like, bro, I was like, I'm just gonna wait six months and then take CS2, I guess. She's like, yeah, that makes sense. You just take six months off and then do CS2. So during that six months off, I really buckled down with streaming because I've been streaming daily. But, like, obviously, it was hindered by being a full-time college student, so... I, um... Yeah, my stream just blew up when I stopped. And I can even show you guys, like, the social blade. You can clearly see when it happened. Um... <clears throat> oh, no, it doesn't go back far enough? Are you serious right now? No, don't do this, Social Blade. Social Blade, you suck. Social Blade! What isn't show all of it? They lost all my statistics? What's the deal? Well, whatever. Uh, uh, basically, I've been streaming for a year and a half. I had 14,000 followers. And then... When I stopped going to school and I started streaming, like, full, full time... I went from 14,000 followers to 28,000 followers in a matter of like two and a half months. It was dope. Anyway, it was a really shitty situation and I could... The thing is, here's the thing, here's the thing. I could have complained, I could have, you know, like, appealed it or whatever. And then it would have gone to like the head of the computer science department. And they could have like, accepted the appeal or denied it. The main problem was my grades really weren't that good. Um, like, I was pretty much like a B minus average student at that point. Like, I was scraping by. It wasn't terrible, but like, I had to retake, I had like a D plus in my calc class. I had to retake calc like three times. But I had done it, I had finished it, and I got a B minus. <laughs> but like... I wasn't- I wasn't doing that good, so it didn't look great. I think if I was a better- if I had a better grades, they would have been more lenient with me, but they were kind of just like... Yeah. So, anyway. It is strange how Things like that are minor like that can have completely life-changing trajectory like things happen. You could say that, but also like it was my choice to do that too, right? Like I could have gone back and I didn't. Thank you, little Friggy, for the uh sub, by the way. It is it is crazy though. There's a non-zero chance that if you got into the class, you would have ended up streaming full time. I mean I think I still would have been streaming daily. For the rest of college and then would have kept doing it but had my would my stream be in a completely different place yes when i got out of college would i have just stepped down to part-time streaming and maybe got a computer science job at fucking like amazon or some shit and be like corporate grinding there's a solid chance that that would have happened um 
I mean, the money is just so much more. Like, I basically make... Like... About... I'm about poverty line, like, money making right now. But I'd be making... I would actually be making, like, starting salary at Amazon. I would be making about... Uh, 8 to 12 times as much money. 8 to 10 times as much money. So, it's kind of hard to turn that down. Even though I love streaming. But, yeah, of course, I'm happy. And we're making it work. Money is not everything. No, of course not. I mean, that's kind of, that's why, that's kind of why I've gone down the path I've gone down. Screenshot. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll restart the day, my bad. Thanks. <clears throat> Which college? This was, uh, University of Minnesota Duluth campus. Oopsie. Now, there is a part of this that, like, is... a little understandable. Which is, they did actually it was so weird it was like a gray area when i was a freshman they did say you should get b minuses in all your classes for computer science because the prerequisite could be changed like they did say that like when i got a c plus or no c minus or whatever in uh computer science 2 I was like, should I continue or not? Like, well, you can retake it. They're like, but you can continue. Well, turns out I couldn't, but it was changed. But they did, they did actually warn us of that, kind of. Like, I remember it was, like, briefly mentioned. But. But it most definitely was not a prerequisite until that semester when they changed it last second to be a prerequisite. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, I don't think there was anything to collect, so I could just screenshot it anyway. Oh well. <laughs> nice, Samoth. <laughs> oh, can I make a scarecrow? Yes, I can. Make a scarecrow. Alright, we should save our money for strawberries. I should try to actually make some money a bit, huh? <laughs> Probably should. <clears throat> okay, what's his face? Shane wants a parsnip. Oh, and we can do the, uh, wizard stuff today. Yeah, wizard stuff. So want those. <clears throat> Plant some cauliflowers. Uh, we need the hoe too though. puts a chest over there. I don't know. I'm just changing things up because I always put my chest right here and I was like, you know what? I gotta do something different. But I already regret my decision. I'll end up moving it here. Or maybe I'll put them like over here or something. I don't know. I just didn't want to put it right here because I do that literally every time. Every time. Every freaking time. Okay. I mean, there's a good reason why you'd put it there. But still. Every time. Put the chest in the cave. Yes! Put it over here in the cave. <laughs> so all your chests in the cave. I like it. I'll get the worms on the way back. 
What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, five purple. Wait, this is new? What the fuck? Quantities now. Ooh, an egg. Yo, quantities and shit. Large milk is actually great if you're trying to do bundles quickly, but we're gonna be getting cows, so it's fine. Because we need to get every animal as a part of the completionist thing. How's it feel doing casual with so many challenges? Honestly, it feels like I've been playing the game for the first time in a long time. It's it's actually great. Although the cutscenes, like I've seen this cutscene so many times, but but yeah, it, it feels really refreshing to be honest. Rasmidus Seeker of Archangels. Thanks for the follow Malashri. I know you like doing truffles. Do you do it for the truffle or for the oil? Oh, you make truffle oil? What? Uba. Uba. Behold! L Loon box. Less than three. Thank you, <coughs> Loombox, for the two months. Appreciate that. Played Harvest Moon, Friends of Mary Town. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Well, so Harvest Moon Back to Nature is my favorite Harvest Moon game, um, which is essentially Friends of Mineral Town, except on PS1. So. And there's a remake coming out for Switch. I don't know. Look at these biceps you don't have. I have biceps. What the fuck? Um, let's see. Friends of Marrowtown remake. Dun, dun. Came out October 11th for Japan. But... Yeah, no new developments there. It'll be out though. Um, and then also Rune Factory for Switch release. Um, it's supposed to be out by the end of the year. This one is. Yeah. What's not included in this challenge? That is a really good question. Um, you can take a look at the list and try to find things that are not included. Um, but essentially just, there's like very few exceptions, but there are a few exceptions. Uh, let's see, tushi.tv slash 100. Um, so one of the exceptions is we don't get soda machine, all furniture, but besides the soda machine, because that's Joja completion only, and then all achievements besides Joja completion. Um, we can't do both. Like, we, if we could do both, I would, but we can't do both. We have to choose one or the other, right? Um, and then the panda hat, that is a 10 cent, like some like 10 cent gaming application exclusive thing. I don't know. It's probably some like Chinese platform something exclusive. I don't know. Um mm -hmm. and then there's there is one exception that I think I'm gonna have to do which is the stone owl. Now there's a stone owl you can get at night market and that's fine. But this stone owl... It's the same percent chance and behavior as the strange capsule, which most people probably never even knew existed. Which is... It only happens... 1% chance for it to happen when you sleep. Um, I believe after year one, right? Or something like that? Uh... Maybe, or... No, I think it's just, yeah, 1% chance, but it only happens if there's 50 random tiles in your farm are clear and allow placement of items. 
And if any of the 50 random tiles chosen are invalid, then it will not happen. And it's 1% chance on top of that, right? So, and random tiles may include invalid positions like house or pawns. So even if you had a completely clear farm, it could still be invalid. So the chance is incredibly, incredibly low that you get Strange Capital. And it's the same for Stone Owl. Um, it's the same as the Strange Capsule event. Extraordinarily rare for it to appear. Um, and there's another Stone Owl at the Night Market. So I think we're just going to go with the one Stone Owl at the Night Market and not this one. Um, I was originally planning on trying to, like, clear off the entire farm and then sleep days till I get it. But Habu said that if you clear off your entire farm and sleep, you would have to sleep for, like, 500 years on average or something. So, yeah, we're not going to do the Stone Owl either, actually. So I should, I should add that, but, yeah, I will, I will add that. Um to the exceptions, but, yeah. Beat Perry King without dying? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, let's see if myself turns shortly. Right. Skip over this song. Skip over that song. Spirits Eve Festival. That's, that fits pretty well. Language is obscure. Be lucky. One with the forest. What do they mean? You have to smoke the leaves. <laughs> Dan. Radiance from the forest. Baby fern. Moss scrub. Caramel top toadstool. Drink up. Here we go, boys. We're gonna marry everyone in the divorce. So, we'll have to choose who we want to be married to in the end. You can't remarry someone you already divorced, right? Pretty sure you can't. So, we'd have to choose them last. Men and women. Every marriageable candidate. Erase memory. You can remarry. Do Emily first for the cool clothes. Isn't there a shrine and the witches have to refresh him? Oh, actually, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Then you have to build up relationship again. Oh my god. <clears throat> Yoink. Hats. We need hats. I don't want to buy that right now though. <laughs> it's like all my buddy. It is weird that these spring onions can spawn down here. Just why is this so much trash? Look at all this trash. And there's a campfire. Whose campfires is that? Have you ever 100%? Oh, no, I've never 100% started before. Nope. And tons of stuff was added in 1.4 that makes it a lot harder, 100%. Particularly hats. Surpris <laughs> Surprisingly, hats is pretty intense now. With a lot of the, uh, with some of the additions to, for some of these hats. Sewer's so a little toxic. Yes, we will room with Krobus first. Yeah. That's, that's the plan. Which means we're gonna have to get the uh, sewer unlocked. And we can, so we'll, we'll try to focus on getting the, uh, museum done 
Or, you know, at least enough to get the sewer unlocked. As soon as we can. Um, and I'm gonna save my money for strawberries on the 13th. Uh, we don't need this stuff, we can sell it. We do need a parsnip. Oh, no, we don't need any of these forgeables anymore. Or no, well, we still have to put the stuff in now. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, we should be able to put a potato in as well. We have to ship 15 of every crop to... How do you lock the sewer? I believe it's 60 museum items for the sewer key. Wait, I haven't met Harvey yet. Did you just go to lunch? Yes. Or not lunch, sorry. Break. Whatever. It's up here. And we go to community center after that. Let's do all the quest lines, starting with introductions. Wait, where is he? Where is that bastard? Oh, I'm an idiot. He doesn't... He goes... Where does he go? Over here? Yeah, there he is. I don't know what he's doing over here in this empty lot. What are you doing, man? Come on. Harvey is someone I've barely spent any time with. It's funny, but I don't think I've ever gotten, like, the hot air balloon event. And I'm pretty sure, like, that's an event. I know it's an event with Harvey. I just never got it. Kupusen! Thanks for the sub! Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Do you make the same selling crops as shipping them? Yes. Yes, you do. Thirty spring seeds. Harvey ignored. I know he likes coffee, so that's always gonna get his coffee. I'm just gonna buy coffee that sells him. Or ooh, I actually probably plant some coffee. We need to get down in the mines further so we can get some coffee beans set up. That would be nice. Should have brought red mushroom. Cave carrot too. I gotta remember cave carrot. All right, we can put stuff in here. I don't want to do the parsnip yet because Shane wanted one. Hey, Kayla. What up? I'm so hungry, Kayla. It's Lewis's birthday? Oh. What could we give him? Hmm. Does he love parsnips? I'm just gonna do it. Since he's been spending some time with me, so it's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Just doing what I can. Get out of my way! Thanks for the bits, Kayla. Bits. He likes them. Well, we got one heart, boys. Trash can. Trash can hat. Trash can hat. Nope. Trash can hat. Ugh. Who else do we need to meet? Maru? Um... Okay, Maru... Jody... Yeah, okay. It's easy. Easy. Let's do this right now. Can we marry... No, we can't marry Robin. We'll get Max Hearts with Robin. As part of the completionist, but we can't. Mary, so Ooh. yeah. Wish we could. And have kids and send them away to their ex's grandparents. Yeah, how does that work? I 
don't even know how that works. Jazz in here? No, what? Trash can. Oh. We can grab this one either. Heart Recipia Home Wrecker. Mary Linus. Doesn't Sam love uh, Joja Cola? Alex is not. There's Mario. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Bye. He likes it? I thought he loved it. I thought it was a love. There's Vincent. The wrong house. Yeah, I thought it was a love. There's Jody. Scary Clown Fishy, thanks for the follow. Mainly go off the wiki, never pay enough attention. I know, it's hard to, like, actually pay enough attention to all that stuff. <laughs> I totally get it, man. Like, that's why I'm questioning right now in the first place. I'm, I don't know where he is right now, either. Like, I should know where he is. But I don't. He thinks he drinks it ironically. <laughs> All right, talk to her. By the beach bridge, you think? Oh, okay. And catch him another day. I've already talked to both of them. Let's do some fishing. Dun, dun, dun. He's lukewarm about it. I think it's a love. Not knowing everything with Stardew by heart. I know, right? This is why I need to do 100% completion run. Then I'll know everything by heart. This is why. Hungry. Sebastian. Damn, me. Oh, I did me, Sebastian. What could you order to mukbang? Yeah, let's do it. I should order something. Here's Stardew Valley to Harvest Moon Animal Crossing. Stardew Valley is like a fully realized, expanded Harvest Moon game, in my honest opinion. It's just a more flushed out, more deep, game on a take or a take on on harvest moon now, animal crossing is kind of in its own little thing it's animal crossing kind of like <coughs> i love animal crossing by the way <coughs> it's kind of just a different take it has a lot of emphasis on like the charm of the different characters and just kind of um relies a lot on general like aesthetics and just feel just like kind of like a feel good game and this game is too but it's like more so with animal crossing um yeah i don't know it's just yeah 
They're both good though. I'm gonna be playing the shit out of Animal Crossing New Horizons when it releases. You, you better believe I'm gonna be playing the living crap out of it because I will. It's gonna be awesome. Try an impossible whopper. I am not gonna try a possible whopper right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not happening. Let me open the window. Thanks. Joja bait joke sure fell flat. Uh, the juicy burger. It's from this morning. Hobbles away, hobble, hobble to the very next day. Oh shit, I missed it. The duck song. The duck song. I see what you did there. Yo, thanks, Samif. Is that all the emotes now? Gee, there aren't that many emotes from this one, right? I should be getting close. Thanks to the 300. Do you have to do 300 now to get. Is that the best way to get the emotes now? Oh, that one's actually pretty solid. The gingerbread cat. That one's pretty good. Oh my god, scary! Did I miss it? Scary clownfish. I know if I start talking, it's gonna immediately. There we go. Oh my god. Scary clownfish, thanks for the 1500 bitty bits. Appreciate it. 25 shared. Yeah. There's some emotes. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Is that a neon gingerbread cat or some shit? Wait, what it? What is that? A Nan gingerbread reindeer cat or something? Or it's like a reindeer present rainbow bread something? <laughs> Thank you again. Emotes for everyone. Emotes for days. Yo, primary second. That one, that emote looks like it's from, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Except like a chibi version. Is that true or is that not true? It looks like the... Maybe just because of that light green hair and I'm just being dumb. Like, yeah, dude. Every anime looking light green hair. Oh, it is her. Okay, good. Okay, good. Nice. Too bad I never finished that game. It's too bad. Best girl. Right. Oh, there we should probably go back. Getting late. Oh my god, play with. <laughs> it is cool that you must have shared when people resub now. Like, that's kind of new, right? Yo, thanks, Sam. If primary second, thanks for the sub. See, yeah, so when people sub and resub, it gives emotes. That's pretty cool. That's new. Did you get one, Flight Wizard? Did you get it? We have a lot of viewers, so the chances you get an emote are probably relatively low. <laughs> we should plant those seeds tomorrow, maybe? I mean, I could just sell them, but... RNG God's not my favorite. Mm. 
trees next to farm plots are annoying. Yeah, I want to try to keep a lot of the trees, but you're right. I should get rid of some of the trees. Like these trees. I can't see. Text. <laughs> Never gets old. I'm trapped. Oh, God. Never eaten peace. Never eaten peace. No. Oh, my God. The oh, God. Damn. Chat set up to his monitor so he doesn't get messages before the bot shoots. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Always look away. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think we're good now. Wait, no. Okay, now we're good. That was all, that was all three. I think. Wait. Okay. Okay. Are we good? God. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's keep going. We got these spring seeds. <clears throat> oh, no. I have to hold this spot. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Now, I feel bad for... Oh, no, you're good. You're good. It's fine. The... Well, you can either say this is sad or you can say this is awesome, but the sad part is that the the ping pong machine is essentially how I pay my rent for the past year. The not sad part is I've been able to pay my rent last year playing video games every day. So, I don't know, this is how you look at it, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't use it all the time. I keep it, uh, that's why I wasn't using it earlier, but I figured I'd bring it out for the rest of the stream since someone was, well, we got on the topic. Oh, shoot, we didn't have the stats reset. My bad, my bad. Naval XW. Dude, I don't even have better Twitch TV. Because I'm a pleb. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's do some fishing and try to catch catfish. We could definitely catch catfish today. Oh, we also buy a fiberglass rod. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy fiberglass. Get rid of that. We want that. We want that. We don't want that. Or we can try to give it to Sam, actually. Should I have a gingerbread cookie as well? Alright. You know what? I don't want to have a whole one, so I'm just going to go ahead and just... Just... Well, poor guy. He's going to... No! Oh! Put his pants back. No! Oh my god. You monster! Wait, I dropped one of his hands. What? I don't know where it went. Ow! Yeah. I'm sorry. Thanks, Ferret Dance, for the 100 bits. Thanks, Jesus Christ, Lord, for the shitload of bits. It's got a suburb for life. Nice. Cross the nose. I feel awful. <laughs> it's fine. Mmm. Mm. Very soft. Mmm. Not overly sweet. Mmm. How could you ferret dance? Just kidding. Oh no, I went the wrong spot. I went the wrong spot. Catfish. How could you? I want gingerbread cookies now. That's pretty legit. Cookies are bad for your health. Stop immediately. Um, wait. We should go over to the corner because we'll have higher like. 
quality. Wait, what is that under my feet? Is it? Oh. No. I found his arm. Oh. I found his arm. Hmm. No, no, wrong spot, wrong spot. Ball needed to take your arm off. Uh oh. Somebody jammed the robot. Can you uh credit cry Jesus Chrysler 4? Not out of balls. Wait, is it out of balls? There's a lot of balls on the ground from from like a few days ago. I never cleaned up. Sure, what's up with that? It's gonna be a mind of its own. It's not feeding upwards. S spinning wheels not grabbing. Neither. Sometimes the um it just won't spin up at all. Oh. And usually, if it has anything, if it has any, if the robot thinks it's jammed for any reason, it'll just beep at you, and then stop working. Which like is super rare when that actually happens, right? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh my. <laughs> Best Saturday ever. It'd be hard to fish like this. Uh, let me open the stream. I have to open the. I blacklisted any of the terminology for firing the balls, so I can't see when people fire with credits. Oh, oh, on purpose so that I can't see it in time, because I'll, I can like, I see the message and then I know the ball's coming, right? Catfish. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get the catfish. But what I can do is I can just open up the chat uh, that doesn't have the blacklist on another monitor. And then I just, I normally don't read that chat. Oh! No! Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, someone needs to be credited two balls. It was the person before this person. <laughs> that would be air, yes. <clears throat> God damn it. Stupid fucking robot. I might need to like... I don't know, grease the wheel or some shit. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It may also be something on the computer's end. As well. You never know. I'll have to take a look into it. Especially if it keeps happening, then I'll have to really take that seriously, but... Reese ping pong balls? Well, they, yeah, that doesn't sound like a good time. Thanks to follow video mail. No. No. Catfish. No. I suck. Oh. Oh. That's another thing. Why is it so slow? Oh, wait, 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 there's a problem, there's a problem. There's a problem. Alright, I know what happened now. It's actually user error. I have to like set the um, ball delay to a certain amount and I forgot to. That's why. I think um, you need to credit 
just credit Jesus Christ with like five more balls because that shit was supposed to be firing at me way faster. Just it's supposed to be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be really fast. Some of those balls didn't fire last time. All right, now he's got. Now he's good. How did the tournament go? Yo, we won. Ah, uh, we won the tournament. It was awesome. Got gold. Uh. Got gold, baby. When's the best time to get fiberglass? The beginning of today. Meaning hours ago. That's was that's the best time. So Yo! Yeah. Thanks to the 800 bits. God damn. <laughs> oh, we can buy some more bait. Emo in the docks in the rain. I'm laughing so hard, it's up the obstacle. <clears throat> My burger is on its way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is. One for all the wives whose hearts you've broken and started. I haven't broken their hearts yet, but that's fair. It's gonna happen. <clears throat> Timing was phenomenal. Okay, okay. No. No. Oh, I was not getting that. Not getting that shit. It's not happening. Sad as a flamp. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gypsy. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. Oh, God. Hey, Kayla. Eat the enchilada if you're hungry. It's okay. I ordered a burger because I was feeling special. I got a gold medal yesterday. I deserve this burger. Ah! Ah! This bougie ordered burger. That's right. With bacon. With bacon. And spicy sauce. Thank you, Severe Gamer, for the bits and martini and ferret. Jeez. Everyone's really teaming up on me. Seriously, genius. Thanks, Nimbo. I didn't code it. Um, Sam if coded it. Oh! I just had the robot and the idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm at seven. God damn, dude. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Jesus Chrysler. Uh, it's, uh, tilde key fire to use a credit or tilde key fire space. And then the number that you want to fire. Um, you can also check to see how many credits you have with tilde key balls. I'm so sorry. I love you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the gift sub, Sam. Appreciate that. Enjoy the emotes, Faceless Frank. Oh! Ah! 
Jeez, I'm gonna have to reload the robot at this rate. Thanks to the follow agent bun buns. Copycat with the twenty dollars. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. I don't know when that's coming. Reload the robot. <laughs> Monka S. Um I'll I'll take a look at the robot. I maxed it. There's a hard cap at well. 200 is the is the maximum amount it'll shoot in one message. Um, so I think be okay. I could check the robot though. But um, copycat, I don't know when you. So copycat, you can fire it all at once, or you can fire them like you know five at a time or one at a time. However you want to do it. I set it up so that it's a credit system. Um, it's actually really cool because then you can, like, you can donate however much you want and then it will be able to shoot them however you want. So it kind of acts like bits. Okay. 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 What the f- how many balls is- Ah! Oh, God damn! Thank you! Jesus Christ, for the- 3,000 bits? God damn! Was that 30 balls? I felt like, like, 20 balls. Oh. Oh, shit. 27? That was only 27? That's not good. Credit him three. That's not good. Uh-oh, Sam. I mean, it's closer than I thought, but... Hmm. Yeah, the robot's been... Kinda... Slacking. <laughs> thank you for the 3,000 bits, Jesus Chrysler, and thank you, Copycat, for the... for the 20 bucks. Anyway, yeah, so you have... So the credits work where you can do, like, kill the key fire space 5, or 10, or 1, whatever you want. <clears throat> so, it's the best way in terms of like balls to dollars because bits they take a cut right so like if you donate a hundred dollars you get a hundred balls but if you if you spend a hundred dollars on bits you get like i don't know like what like 80 balls probably i don't know what the conversion rate for bits is right now but <clears throat> nimbo loco thanks for the follow and it's not just for this stream so lots of people will like tip and then they'll just use up their bits over like or use up the credits over like multiple streams with the only catch being i don't use a ping pong robot every day so you know imagine buying bits on mobile <sighs> oof that's brutal oh god Imagine getting the 1 million bit badge on mobile. <laughs> mobile only. That's the hardest achievement. Oh. Okay. 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 Sonimus, thanks for the 1k bits. Appreciate it. Um, I have to read that message. Let me read that. Yo, hey, Ambrosia, thanks for the 20 bucks. Jesus. My god, this is like more freaking support I've had the past month. One day. Thank you, hey, Ambrosia, for the 20 bucks. Sonomous. Just save up ad bits. Yeah, that's a good way to go. Can you still get ad bits? I thought they like got rid of some of that. I know some people can't get ad bits. What's the best way? Tips is the best way, in all honesty. You also get more balls for it, so you get rewarded handsomely in balls. 
for donating. Bits is cool for what it is, um, but Twitch takes like a 20 to 30% cut depending on, how, depending on how many bits you buy. If you buy like a few dollars of bits, they take like a 30% cut. If you buy like a hundred dollars worth of bits, they take like a 20% cut or something. And then with donations, it's like a 1% cut basically. Streamlabs, yeah. Um, Streamlabs link is just like exclamation mark tip. <laughs> or it's below the stream. Okay. Give me some more catfish. Give me some more catfish. Let me draw, thanks to the follow. Oh, my burger's almost here. Billy, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. Burger better be good. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be good. I have high hopes. Loads of subs. Yeah, this is like insane. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. The hundred dollars, dude. Oh my god. Happy freaking holidays, man. Um, so many balls. Seriously, though, okay. Keep up the great content. Yo, um, let me just, before you do anything stupid, oh, that ball totally just hit my stream deck and then changed my scene. Sorry about that. Don't want to ignore that. Thank you, Ferret. <laughs> Silence before the storm. <clears throat> I miss real food. Burger looked amazing. Are you, uh, vegetarian or vegan or... Oh my god. Marty, thanks to 100 bits. When are you streaming till? I will be streaming for another two to three hours. <clears throat> two to three hours. And I'll be live for a long time tomorrow too. Ooh, we have a lot of rice shoots. This is looking up. And we got a dinosaur egg, so that's good. Living out of the U.S. Hmm. Skip the bread middleman. A bunless burger ain't no burger. The only time started, you switch it up. I switched it up. <clears throat> Um, we've been doing a lot of Stardew. Generally, what I will do is I will play, um, like, Stardew for, like, three to five hours. And then I will play another game for, like, a few hours. Um, recent games we played was, like... Ah! <sighs> okay. Planet Zoo! Planet Zoo, um... Oh, oh, yo, oh my god. <laughs> uh, last one, sorry, I love this stream a lot. Thanks, Ferret, for the 300. And I don't know, what are the... Jesus. Chrysler energy alert? Oh, shit. What else? Let's play a zoo. We played some of Star Wars, but I wasn't really into it. We played all of Outer Worlds. That game was bomb, dude. Outer Worlds is great. We also played RimWorld recently. Um... The Rimworld was really fun. Um, we may do that for like the last hour of this stream. This is the first day of the challenge, so I'm trying to like, you know, I don't know, get a good amount of it out of the way here. You know, get get a good start here. <clears throat> um, but we will do more Rimworld. 
We're doing like a naked brutality challenge or like scenario where you start with one character with like no clothes and like no tech and like no nothing basically. Um, and we like took someone prisoner that has like really good stats and they got muscle parasites and we're trying to heal them up. It's not a good situation, but it never is a win world, is it? But uh, yeah, it's, it's been pretty good so far. How do you do in room world? Did you kill me? You are still alive and kicking. And you took a prisoner. Last hour. 24 hours I'm still on and awake. Hold me to it. Alright, dude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if I did do it, it would be in like... Probably like two hours-ish, so... Yeah. Room would be cool for last hour. Anyway, yeah, we play new stuff that comes out, too. Um, I played Doraemon Stray Seasons, which is like a Harvest Moon game, kind of recently. Um, <clears throat> well, we will play Cyberpunk 2077 when that comes out. Um, March? March, I think? Dragon Quest Builders, we played through all of that. That took about 80 hours. And it was actually pretty good. That game's pretty solid. Oh, we gotta go. Um, uh, grab this too. Dang. April 6th? Is it April now? Jump King? I did play Jump King. Didn't beat it, though. Wow. <clears throat> Gold or purple quality? Um, so, like, the higher the quality, the better the... The more they sell for and the more XP you get for catching them. Gonna lurk. Alright, primary second. I'm gonna sell these fish. One of these. Uh, I guess we should hold on to some of these. <clears throat> for... Should start holding on to them for bundles, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Trapper to mix it up. <clears throat> Did the screenshot requires a smappy? It does. That's okay, we're playing vanilla besides that, so I'm fine with that. It's not like we're playing a modded playthrough because they have the screen capture. It's modded! <laughs> I guess it won't count towards my Steam achievements though, but that's fine. Who needs Steam achievements? They're gonna do all of them anyway. Thanks, Sama. Okay. So, how is that? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's the ninth day. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, this will be good enough. One of these is like... Oh, it's rainy. Yeah, we'll be fine. We missed like a day. Maybe two. Eye protection. It's okay. You can't hit me directly in the eye because eye socket. Goodness. Protection. It's a ping pong ball. It's fine. Trust me, I've been shot enough with this ball to know. You can get pink eye though. Wash your floors. Yeah, I've never gotten pink eye ever. Table tennis semi pro used to be. Used to be. I use. I'm not going to use any mods that would modify the game. I'm just doing the the screenshot literally for the sake of that. I don't have to remember to screenshot every day because I know I'm not going to remember. That's like actually the only reason. <laughs> Oh, man. Terminator robot arm. Yeah. Six pictures missing three days. Yeah, that's fine.
It's all right. Whoopsie daisy. Mods. Illegitimate run. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. 300 shots fired. God damn. That was fast. Let me check the robot quick, too. I didn't even see it coming. Where'd it get you? Look right here. Bye. Right in the kisser. <laughs> One's right in the kisser, I guess. Gunther. It goes to Gunther. Here we go. Oh. Hear it better when it's like this. Um, can also get some furnaces too. Yeah. Get some furnaces. Um, oh yeah, I remember now. I want to chop down some trees. Let's do that. Chop down ones I know I'm going to want to get rid of. This one we're going to want to get rid of. Cookies will have to start spamming diabetes memes at you. Oh no. Bring it on. Good way to get coal in this game. Um, dust sprites, you can kill dust sprites. Also, the prospector perk has been fixed in 1.4, which was the perk that gives you more coal. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but it has been fixed. It's basically bugged and like, it just didn't give you anything. It just didn't do shit. Oh yeah, and then charcoal burns. I always forget to say it. Charcoal kilns converts wood, 10 wood to one coal. Um, that is another way. You can also just buy it for 150 each. But if you have charcoal kilns, it's better to do that because it's like 33% cheaper. Because it's like 100, it's 10 gold for each wood. So 10 wood is 100 gold. And you put it in a charcoal kiln for like 30 minutes in game, which is like no time at all. Then you get a coal for a net of 100 gold instead of 150. But of course, you have to deal with triple kilns. So if you need a lot of coal and you have a lot of money, might as well buy it at that point. Hmm. Hmm. 
You don't have enough. No problem, Swampage. If you ever have any questions, let me know. We got you. Between me and my stream, we have all the knowledge. I can only get one cast in here. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought it was only gonna be six, but it was seven. But it was seven. Radium quality chub. That's a lot of energy. 64 energy. Ooh. Yeah, that was seven energy. It was the exact amount. I thought it was seven. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Another iridium. Damn. Dude, iridium quality fish really helps get your energy up. Should find an ostrich egg around you and do a cooking stream. Dino egg omelets? Savage. Dave David with the 10 bucks. In embrace of the stash wars and our oh, our brave fallen stash in remembrance. Oh my god. That was just a year ago, wasn't it? Feels like longer. The stash wars. Good times. Good times. An ostrich egg around me and do cooking stream. What is that in reference to? I feel like there's a joke that I'm missing here. I'm an idiot or something. You were ready to rip your lip off. Oh yeah. No joke. An IRL egg. Massive cooking potential. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that was a year ago. I mean, like, 11 months ago. It's like last month. Time flies. Yeah. Thank you for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Sam doesn't joke about mukbangs. Now that's a joke. It's true. Or wait. But he doesn't. That's not a joke. He doesn't joke about mukbangs. Or does he? I don't know. Did she do a Reddit AMA? I... I don't know. I mean, like... A Reddit AMA. I'm... I'm... Like, maybe if I... Hit, like, 10 years daily or something. Streamed for 10 years daily, AMA. We're getting there. Only three and a half years to go. Chadui, thanks to the follow. Livestream AMA? Could be pretty good. <laughs> Click and pause and I hear the fish hook noise? Really? <laughs> Every stream is an AMA, basically. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, Jazz! Jazz! Oh, I did it. Oh, give someone a gift. Smelting, initiation, deeper in the mine. Oh, we never made a scarecrow. Build a coop. And then delivery. Start the farmer and deliver.
Here, have a parsnip. She did not like it. She gave her a cookie or something. When were you planning on opening Tushmas stuff? That is a good question. Christmas Day, I think. Time on Christmas Day, I'm not sure. Um... Yeah. I mean, I know most people build their families, so... Maybe like at night or something? Or I could do it the day before, or, or the day after. Um, but I was planning on doing it the same as last year, kinda. The wish list is not very... Doesn't have very much on there right now, so I'm sorry. I'll try to add more soon. And then I'm gonna open all of it up on Christmas Day. Pick kill and cookies to do it. Or are you gonna shoot 600 balls and take them out when it jams? <laughs> Sounds awful. Constantly getting up and fixing it and jamming. Sounds not good. I want to move it. There, that's so much better. There you go. No, I'm not in the way of the hot bar at all. Tell the story about Tushy Loop. A lot of people are new and weren't around for it. Well, a few years ago, because <clears throat> we do the wish list every year, a few years ago, for a meme, I put on my wish list a 55 gallon drum of Passion Loop. Cost? About fifteen hundred dollars. No one in their right mind would pay fifteen hundred dollars for a meme. So I thought. Hence the story. So I had it on there, and I also had a thing set up in the wish list where when the item was bought, it would be removed from the wish list. That way, people wouldn't buy the same thing twice. Well, I was purposely not looking at the wish list because I didn't want to know what had been bought, so I didn't know what, what I was getting, right? But people kept saying in stream, like, oh, why is the lube gone? I'm like, oh, haha, -ha, good one, <laughs> you know? They're like, no, really, why is it gone? I'm like, it's not gone. Like, no one actually bought it, right? Oh, my God, I just skipped that cutscene. I can't believe I just skipped that cutscene. I'm a monster! What's up, Sanji? What game is this? <laughs> anyway, so I look it up. Sure enough, the freaking lube isn't on the wish list anymore. And that's why I start panicking. And I'm looking at it on Amazon. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> ah! Ah! God. Animal cruelty. Anyway, here here is the um this is the actual thing, right? Like, it's an actual thing. Right. Anyway. Um. So. Uh. Where was I going with this? 
looking at the weight of this item, it is, let me look, where's the weight? Doesn't say, I don't know. I think it was somewhere in the order of like half a ton or like, it was like 600 plus pounds. Half a ton is a thousand pounds. I don't think it was a thousand. It was very heavy. And I lived in an apartment complex where you had to go to the front desk to get large packages. So yeah, I was like pretty concerned about what was gonna go down with that. So, I'm kind of like freaking out about it. Everyone's kind of like laughing about it or freaking out about it or being like, oh my god. Christmas comes. Haven't gotten a package that was that big. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I get a very small package from True Game Colors. And it's a tiny bottle of passion lube. Apparently what happened was because they were under the same page, there's like different sizes and it goes from the small bottle all the way up to the 55 gallon drum. When he bought the small bottle, it took the drum off the wish list. And so, yeah, that's what happened. True trolled me hard, yeah. And he kept it secret too. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are in on it. Like a lot of people knew because True had told them that that's what happened, but he didn't tell me and I didn't know until Christmas day. Or no, it wasn't even Christmas day. It was like after, it was like a week after or something. I was like, yeah, what actually happened? Like what the heck happened? <laughs> okay, these are all for bundles. Might as well just put them in now. Yeah, I'll just put them in now. Why not? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, yes, yeah, fine. Where is it now? Blue dispenser, but we're here. Oh my god. Did you want it? <laughs> well, the funny thing was, I, so I lived in an apartment complex and um, Aaron and also uh, Giant Waffle, um, so they lived in the apartment complex directly above me and I was talking with them about it and like, dude, we should just do like a slip and slide stream. Like we could do like the, the staircase challenge, which is where you have a bunch of lube on a stairs and you try to climb the stairs. And you like make it like sloped and stuff. And like we could do that as a stream. And I was like, dear God. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously I never ended up happening. Nutella all day. Thanks for the follow. Did I hear stairs? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus, dude. Thanks to the for the sub game for life. Appreciate it, man. Twitch Prime sub. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's River too, which we don't have any of those, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go the separate ways. Well, see, they were just roommates, so like legit, like. They were just roommates. Um, like I knew them both personally. Um, so basically what happened is, you know, Aaron, you know, wanted to move and then Giant Waffle had also kind of been thinking about moving too. And he did move to Texas, right? Aaron kind of wants to stay in Pacific Northwest, right? Like her family's in Seattle area. So yeah, they just went their separate ways. like. 
The same way with like me and Dan, right? Like there was no beef with me and Dan, but I wanted to move out because I wanted to get my own place. It is midnight, but we're going to try to get this trash can hat right now. Woo, trash can hat. Nope. One of these days, one of these days. Ah! We got to get it for 100% completion. There's a trash can hat? Yep, there is a 1.4. Cat is with the 44 months. Thank you. Oh, I guess it didn't shoot a ball at me. Yeah, you can have a free credit there. Yep. Logan! I just saw, like, uh, something you posted on Twitter. That art looked really good. I was gonna reply, and then I just got lazy. But it looks so good. You're getting really talented. It's like the same style, too. Like, it's just better. You know? It's pretty cool to see. Like, I, I like, take one look at it, and I'm like, oh, Caddis made it. Like, I, like, you know what I mean? Like, scrolling through Twitter. Like, oh, look at what Caddis did. And then, like, I, like, already knew it was you. But it looks a lot better than it used to. Um, Dan is Dan's Gaming. Yeah, we used to be roommates for, like, three years. Something like that. Three, four years. That was like three years. Okay. Cool stuff. Yep. Twitch crashed. Oof. Good humor. Good humor. What about Fire Dragon? Also used to be remiss with Fire Dragon too. Yep. And then he had to move. We were gonna stay roommates. Like, we really meshed so well. Like, Fi Fi and I, like, it was awesome. But, um, he moved home because his mom was sick. And so then we were supposed to have a lease together, and he basically, like, had to bail on signing the lease, like, the day of. Made the decision, to, like, split decision to go back home because his mom was sick. And so I understood. And that's when, like, I was talking to Dan, and Dan was like, oh, you should come move with, live with us, because Giant Waffle just moved out. If, if you guys have been watching them for a long time, um, with their fusion stuff, like, when they first moved out to Seattle, it was Dan and Giant Waffle, and then Bacon Donut. And then Giant Waffle moved out to get his own place, and then it was just Dan and Bacon Donut. So then Dan was like, oh, you can come stay with us, we have extra rooms. So I moved all my stuff from Virginia to Seattle across the country, east to west coast. Um, after Fi Fi said he was gonna go home, and I was like, okay. And then, of course, he went home, and then his mom got better, and then, you know, he met Lissa, and now they're getting married, so. She... It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, he's not married yet, but I'm invited to the wedding. You've moved a lot. Yes. Yes, I have. I lived my, my parents in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I moved to Duluth, Minnesota. And then I moved to Richmond, Virginia. And then I moved to Seattle. A suburb of Seattle. And then I moved to another suburb of Seattle. And then I moved to another suburb of Seattle. And then I moved to Portland. <laughs> or a suburb of Portland. Moved to Sweden Gaming Mansion? Hey. <laughs> Alright, um... What am I doing right now? What am I doing? Uh... We're gonna make this farm look a little nicer. Oh, we have good luck, actually. We should go mining. Yeah, we'll go mining after this. So... My plan is, with this farm, is I'm gonna try to make it look nice the whole way through. Because, like... I could be like, oh, I'm gonna make it look nice once I actually have, like, materials and the time to, like, make it look nice. But I'm just gonna... Make do with what I got. Like, right now, I just have these basic stone whatever... 
and I have like nothing to make it look nice yet. But I'm gonna make do with what I got, and then I'll make it, I'll just improve it and change things as I go. Because that's what happens is I kind of just put it off the aesthetics until it's like late game, and then I'm, at that point it's like too late. So, yeah. When you move out of your country, I don't want to move out of the U.S. That's messy. It's really messy to do that. Okay. Mining time. Let me bring that to you. And these. And these. Actually... Some. Mary, me and you're good. <laughs> Seattle's nice. Whoa! Leak City! Political reason we will not get into in this stream. Trying to leave the past years, raising the requirements to move the country. I know why. What are we talking about? I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that leak so close together. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. Horses leaking. Hold me back. <laughs> you're fine. You can constrain yourself. Restrain yourself. Constrain. Where do they move to next? Of all the places I've lived, I've made more friends here in Portland. Well, I've probably made about five times as many friends here in Portland than I made anywhere I lived besides, of course, where I grew up and where I went to college in Minnesota. So, I don't know. Like, moving sounds cool and all, but, like, kind of, like, got a lot of people and things going on in Portland, so. Back to Minnesota? I can't. It's so, it's so cold there. And I don't have any friends in Minnesota anymore. That was like in high school, right? And if you get, you know, you guys know like, oh yeah, like people in high school, I literally don't even know if they're alive anymore. <laughs> it's like, she. <laughs> Mildly mannered guy. Yeah, yeah, that. And like, just from pickleball. and warm in Sweden. Is it though? I feel like that's not true. Um, too bad. I'm not just gonna look up, look up everyone's weather all day. <laughs> oh my god. Live in Utah, not St. George. Was cool from what we've seen. Yeah, it was pretty dope. It's pretty cool. It was very different than I thought. I thought it was just like retiree, but there was a lot of young people. I guess it's like a college town, but it's also a retiree town. It's like both. I need to kill 10 slimes, so this is fine, I guess. Hmm. 
might be the coldest. Singapore is hot every day. Except this month. Oh, shit. The annoying bugs are coming. Oh, this sucks. Oh no. Get me out of here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, what the? Let me go get the coal. Get down, get down. Thanks, Anji. <laughs> Thanks to the 500 bits. Oh, God. Thanks. Sh no! No! Don't die. Are you serious? That would be so sad. No! Uh, okay, at least I have all this shit. Farm the bugs. That's true. And I need to complete all the Slayer quests for my completionist playthrough, so. Dose him! Thanks to the follow and who the- who did that? What the heck? Eve deep it. See that? I see it. phone make sure kills and text me or anything yep we're good she's getting a ride home tonight so we can stream late Once we get the boiler room unlocked, we're gonna try to get that right away. Cause I really want minecarts. Minecarts are good. Is there anything here? It's usually, yeah, a bunch of barrels. Uh. this oh another thing is we have to we have to cook every recipe so like that white algae i just ate i'm gonna need that for white algae soup at some point but obviously we'll get more white algae but just you know there's a lot of shit we gotta do yeah that one's a yikes Nowhere near as yikes as hats. Dude, hats is insane. Tushi.tv slash 100. Um, so all achievements. I mean, all achievements is pretty rough, but it can be done. The four gramp candles is free. Rare crows is pretty free. Furniture is actually technically the worst by far, but that's because I have to put stone owl as a exclusion. Because, according to Habu, even if I clear off my entire farm and sleep, it would just, it would take like 500 years of sleeping on average to get the stone owl. So, there's two stone owls, so we're just going to get one of the stone owls. The other one's a lot easier to get. Anyway.
I am not doing this all in one sitting. Anyway, there's a lot of like different little technical things to get some of this stuff. Um, we can't get Soda Machine because of uh, JoJo Completion only. And then Hats. Hats is probably going to be the hardest. If we're not getting the Stone Owl, which we're not, then this is the hardest because... Um, yeah, it's just insane. Some of the stuff you have to do is insane. Uh, and we can't get Panda Hat. That's like a Tencent... What is it? It's a... TPG is a gaming platform created by Tencent Games that you have to get it through TGP. I, some, like, Chinese something, I think. Anyway. Garbage Hat. 0 0.002 chance to find when checking trash cans in town only after 20 checking 20 cans. Um, and then, you cook a recipe, yeah, yeah. Where is it? 0.01% chance of obtaining when chopping down a mushroom tree, mushroom cap. Ah, that one's rough. And then living hats, 0.01% drop from wilderness golems, or super, super low chance from cutting weeds. Um, those three are gonna be super rough. Cat ears? Takes a mushroom. Yeah. I think there's things we can do to try to get lots of mushroom trees, but, uh, yeah, that one's a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, we already got the, we have to get over here. And we already got everything. We can just go. Yeah, just go. Topo hat. Thanks for the follow. Stami Ryzen's on sale. No, you're fine. You already have a Ryzen. Why would you get a new Ryzen? What the heck? What the heck? The 3K series good? You're... Enabler! <laughs> Enabler! Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to look at the list themselves and look into all of that, um, it's tushi.tv slash 100. Or you can just put in exclamation mark 100 in chat, and it will show the link. Four thousand series of new socket? Oh, you gotta wait for that new socket. Five thousand series would be your first new socket? Oh, really? Well. What are you using these cores for? Yeah, I don't know what anyone's using the cores for. I could use the cores, though. <laughs> I don't know what use the cores for. <laughs> give me the cores! Just give me all your cores, damn it. With that series, is literally three months away. It'd be a massive upgrade. Just need to wait. Why? You already have it. A... Sounds like you just got a graphics or a processor like a year or two ago. Why would you need a new one? Like what? That's the funny thing is lots of times it's like It's like hey, do you have any issues with your machine like at all anything to note and you're like nope you're Like So you don't need the new processor like but it's so much better. Have you seen the specs? It's like 
30% faster, dude. Like, but you literally have no problems with any of the games you played or anything. And you're like, no, but it's so much faster. Have you seen the price performance? Escape from Tarkov? Well, Escape from Tarkov doesn't count because that game sucks. I was joking. I haven't played it. I don't know. You have any issues with Escape from Tarkov? Sounds like game issue, not processor issue. The game's not even new. Like, what the fuck? Dad is a programmer who needs a faster processor for smartphone emulator. So I happen to benefit. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice, nice. An AK monitor with quad GPU setup. Oh my god. Jeez, I didn't know we had so many millionaires in chat. That's insane. <laughs> we own a priest mine's mine's crystal clear HD. <laughs> I read the last part of it now. Oh my god. Yo, 8k stardew. <laughs> oh, man. oh shit. I need to move these closer. This is dumb. I thought it would be cool, but it is not. It is just dumb. <clears throat> what was I thinking? Anyway, we'll get another chest um, for CC. We white. And we'll put in a quartz and cave carrot. Hand me the squirrel links to the follow. Uh, technically that, but this, this, that, this, two of those? No, just one, just one. Dun, 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 dun. I already have that done. Potatoes are done. Oh, we should sell these though. What the fuck? What am I doing? Sly was way better back in the day. Back in my day. Sly does come with a bunch of issues, yeah. When I was a wee lad. You can have two 970s ASLI. Oh my gosh. It's just a power hungry inefficient system. That's what SLI is. It's good if you need a heater though. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Take my money. Thanks to the five bucks, it's me. Need a heater? Well, there you go. Staircase. Thank you, it's me for the five bucks. Take my money. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. 